up, everybody? Charles Macro jumping back in the fishing planet. What's going on? What's going on, man? Hope everybody's doing well. Shout out to you and yours, man. Peace and blessings to everybody on this Sunday evening, man. Yo, what's going on? Let's see who is here in the stream with us. What's up, Zang? What's up, DH? What's up, Jonathan? What's good? What's good? How y'all doing? How y'all doing, man? Welcome to the stream. Oh, shout out to Sean for the subscription. You are elite. Yo, really appreciate that. Really appreciate that. Yo, I hope everybody is doing well, man. Hope your families are healthy, safe. You know, prayers up, man. Hope all is well. All right, guys. So we are going to finish up. The Cyber Piranha mission, the new, the last of the new uh, monster missions that they just dropped recently. They dropped, basically, it's four technically, but it was like three, and then this is like the combination. This is like the uh, the the hunt, the gather, the the last one, the, the challenge that is like the longest that you got to do. It's more of an endurance test than actually having to like skillfully find a uh, a monster. Now, there is one we didn't do. Let me let me show you before we really, really get going. Of the three new ones, the Maku Maku. This one is the one that is like the worst right here, man. This one is the worst. So I'll get to this one eventually. This one's going to be on the list with these other ones that I got to finish. I got three other ones that need to be finished. These are the worst. Or, or this one is the worst. So I got two of the 15 fish that you need. Well, four. Of the 15 that you need, two of one and two of the other, man. It's the worst. So we'll come back to that right now. We doing this one here. I did a lot of the grinding off camera. So as you can see, I only have two at Maku Maku, two at Marin, two at Amazonia. And right now we're at, where are we at? We're at Maku Maku. So we're going to knock this out, guys. All right. So that's basically all we're going to do this evening. Today has been a great day. It's been a long day. Been spending time with family, man. Had a lot of really good things going on, man. So, um, yeah, we're going to finish this one up. Now, as y'all know, or, or if you don't know, to start this challenge, you have to go to the Amazon and you have to catch five eels. So we did that in the first stream. Go back and check out the first stream if you missed that. We did that in the first stream, man. Great stream. Thank you to everybody who helped out. And then we started catching a few of these fish. The game dried up, though. We started at Amazonia, dried up. If the game ever stops uh, or fish stop biting in general, quit the game. Just jump back in. If you're doing this cyber piranha mission and it stops, like, biting. If piranhas, if they don't bite at all, the game is glitching out. Quit the game, jump back in, and they should pick back up. Because piranhas are like the vermin, you know what I mean, of, this, of all of these lakes in South America. They're the worst. They eat anything. You should always catch them no matter what you're hunting, all right? So, yeah, we're going to really get this going. Hopefully, it won't take too long. We're going to go to all three lakes, Maku Maku, Marin, and Amazonia. We're going to finish this up, guys. So, again, shout out to the Elite Fam, man. Thank you to everybody who's been coming through supporting and who's helped me find a lot of these uh, fish that we have been hunting, guys. We're going to knock this out. I'm actually going to go to a friends-only room, so let me switch it up real quick, and we're going to keep it going. Hey, what's up, Evile? What's going on? What's going on? Welcome to the stream. Zane, you said you heard that the cyber piranha takes a while to bite. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Hey, hey, DH, yeah. I've been doing good. Been doing good, man. Been doing good. I cannot complain. I cannot. I cannot. Uh, Zang said you were really lucky today at the Congo. Nice, nice, nice. Two uniques in a row. Hey, hey, that's awesome. And that's good money. I already know whether it was the Nile or the tiger fish. That is really good money, man. Um, yeah, so we're going to set up our stand. I'll show y'all where I'm at. And actually, guys, I got some videos coming out. If you were here on the first one, I was kind of uh, making a video with you guys live. I've done that with another video. And I'm going to do that some streams because... Right now, I have to do a lot uh, more streaming um, between the work and the family. It's, it's like that's better content-wise. And I like doing that with you guys so y'all can be a part of it. But um, I'm going to edit this all together. So off stream, I went to all three lakes, grinded out kitchen, all these fish, and I actually made some videos in between. So I'm going to put it together just in case you're having trouble catching them at Maku Maku. I'll show you where I caught them just in case you're having trouble at Marin. I'm going to show you where I caught them. Just in case you was having trouble at the Amazonia. 
Amazon was really the only one that was tough. Maku Maku and Marin is like super easy. Amazon was the one that was giving us a few issues because it's like it's glitching out or something. That's really only it should this should be an easy mission. It should just be an endurance mission, but it did glitch out. This looks like we have a uh, cyber already, guys. We have one already. Hey, what's up, CSM? What's going on? What's going on? Shout out to my man. Can't see me. What's up, Michael? We got a bot already in the house. Shout out to the bot. Y'all know what it is when we get a bot in here. It's already official like a whistle. All right, uh, that's what's up. We got the first one. The way you know that you have a cyber on the line is it really bends like it's a heavy fish. Even though these fish are only, they only max at about five pounds, that's how you know you have the cyber. This might be the second one already, guys. There we go. We already got two of them out the way already here at Maku Maku. We are done. We are done. That is what's up. Hey, what's up, Joe? What's going on? What's going on? How goes it? How goes it? How you been? How you been? Yo, we've already caught those two, guys. So we have two down. We have uh, four more to go, guys. Four more to go. Uh, I dropped my stick. We got two down. Four more to go. So we about to make a move to the next lake. Uh, let me show you where I'm at before we move, though. Let me show you where I am at. So I'm right here at uh, this spine point. Again, in case you're trying to do this yourself. I had the most luck right here at Otorongo Village. Had a lot of luck here. If you spine in at the dock and then sw and, uh, drive over to this one right here, the spot where everybody mainly fishes at when they're trying to do some of the other missions, I caught a lot right there too as well. But this one was real easy peasy and consistent. I also went over here to Oval Island and I caught a few as well. But Otorongo was the main spot. I recommend using feeders. Blood and meat chunks are what I use. Uh, again, these piranhas are bottom feeders. They eat about anything, honestly, but meat chunks and blood were what I use. Feeders, it don't matter the weight as long as it's over five pounds. I would recommend 10 or 20 because you might catch something else. You might catch a heavier catfish. You might catch an atapaima. Now, if you catch one of them, you're going to have trouble if you don't have a heavy ride like a 40 or 50. So, if you can come with a 40, 50, good, but, um, or, or heavier, but if you got a lighter one, you should be okay. Say you up like slightly lower level, but definitely try to have you some weight to uh, what you bring. Uh, hey, you say those fish are weird. Yeah, they are. Rom. Hey, I'm good. I'm good. What's going on? What's going on? How you been? What's going on with you? What's going on with you? Uh, Jonathan say that's a lot of money for only two. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. They're, they're pretty good money. They're pretty good money as well. So, again, we have completed what we need here at this lake. Let's see if we're getting a bite real quick. All right. Wait, 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 wait. We're going to catch everything that, that's biting. Okay. All right. All right. So, guy, okay, I'm going to leave. But how you guys been doing, man? How has everybody been this week, man? It's Sunday. Uh, how's everything been? Anybody been watching like the ACC basketball? You just been chilling out, hanging out where I'm at. The weather has been great. So really been enjoying this weather, trying to get outside a bit. You know, I've been inside on the computer a lot. So try to get out and enjoy some of this weather. And again, spend some time with the family, man. So it's, it's been real good. All right, let's go on and get out of here. We're going to head to modern. We're going to head to modern next. We're going to knock these out, guys. We ain't, we ain't going to take forever. We ain't going to play with it. We're going to knock these out today. Because today has been an eventful day, an eventful day. All right, so Marin next. Let's go ahead and buy this license. Let go buy the license. All right, and oh, you know what? I don't have my chat up. Let me bring my chat up for you guys real quick. Where's my chat box? There we go. Bam. The chat. I'll go ahead and have that in the video for the final catches. We're going to have, if you're watching this later, if you're watching this so you can see how to catch these, maybe again, they weren't biting as much for you. We do this on stream. We have a great stream. We got a great set of anglers that come hang out and really just uh, our people in general, the fam in general that comes hang hangs out at the stream, man. We have some really great streams. So make sure you come through if you're watching this later. 
come join the stream, man. We we help each other. We're catching fish, spots, tips, tricks, the whole nine. All right, so again, you could catch this anywhere. Piranhas bite any and everywhere. But the best two places I found was Selva and Anku. Selva being the one where I basically caught all the fish here at Marin. So we're going to go to that spot and I'll show you some of my markers. And I basically all these markers here are all of the uh, piranhas. Let's see. Hey, what's up, Bam? What's going on? What's going on? What's up, Zang? Hey, so you on Xbox? <laughs> That's what's up. Now, this is the spot you want to go to here at uh, Selva. Make sure I'm saying it right. Yeah, Selva. Just set up. Put your ride stand down. You should have a ride stand most likely at, at uh, this level when you come here. And let me fast forward. We need to do this at night. The best time to catch them is from 1 to 3 a.m. Basically, any time at night you can catch them, honestly. But 1 to 3 is where you're going to get the best, uh, you know, get your best output, the most bites. All of these are markers except for one. One of these two I caught like a catfish. I believe it was a gilded. But all these other uh, four of the five are for the uh, cyber piranhas. So you can really throw anywhere. The other thing I recommend is not throwing at the exact same spot every time. Make sure you throw all around, like vary over here, over there, a little bit of everywhere. Don't just throw at the um, the same spot. You can come back to the spot. You can throw at the marker, but don't do the exact same spot every time while you're looking for this. Uh, John, say you on PS4? Uh, this one, this is probably a trophy, the way it's biting. It's not pulling quite hard enough for the cyber. Sleep. Hey, what's up, sleep? What's going on? What's going on? Say so you guess it's a strain out of the bodies in the chat. Hey, you know how it is, sleep. Once we get that body in here, it's on for real. It's on for real. Yeah, they're, um, you know how they do with the monsters. Usually the monster is some like, Hybrid looking, you know, uh, Halloween styled horror version of the fish and it's heavy. In this case for the monster, they decided to go with like a, a techno cyberpunk type of thing. So these fish are supposed to be like some, you know, some robotic fish they made in a lab or something like that. The, the cyber fish. This one could be the cyber. Oh, yep, yeah, it's heavy enough. And this might be something else, actually. Oh, that's a cyber. That's a cyber. See, they get up to about five pounds, guys. So, again, if you're hunting these cyber piranhas, if you had a 10-pound ride, you would be good a 20-pound ride. But you want to watch out because you might catch a heavy catfish. All right. So, let's throw this back out. We got one out of the way, guys. I basically did most of the grinding. Again, I didn't want you guys to have to sit and wait, uh, especially with when we did it in the last stream and they stopped biting, you know, we were fishing for quite a while and we're getting no bites, not even regular piranhas. But I realized you need to quit out the game. So you're going to catch regular piranhas. It takes a little while. I wanted to get most of that homework done, man, so we wouldn't have to uh, sit too long and wait. Let's see. Sleep say macro. Have you ever had a feeling something was going to happen and it happened? Yeah. Yeah, sometimes you get things like like premonitions, you know, or a little dream. Hopefully, it's a good thing when it happens, though, you know. You, you hope it's something good. Did that happen, Sleep? Has something like that happened recently? Uh, Zang say somehow you got two uniques in a row. I mean, the game, even though you're not supposed to be able to catch more than one unique in the same day, you know, the game isn't perfect. So every now and then it'll glitch out or something. Oh, we got it. Guys, we got it. I might should have did us five. Yeah, I might should have left five or, or three or four because they are knocking off real quick, guys. They are knocking off real quick. Bam. All right, so what I do then since we done here at Marin, I'll show you again a couple of the coordinates on the map. This is the Selva Spawn. And you see that cyber piranha, negative 311 to 207, negative 315, 194. Meat chunks there, uh, meat chunks there. One of these is a catfish. There it is, meat chunks for that catfish. All of these was catching with meat chunks. Negative 316 to 201. 
This one I caught with blood. Blood and meat chunks worked the best for me. And that one was negative 320, 194. All right, guys. So we're gonna make our next move. We're gonna make our next move, our best move. So we're gonna head to the Amazon. Let's get on out of here. And we're gonna knock this thing out. Uh, you said you somehow oh a one Goliath, one African tiger fish. Oh, okay, yeah, that, no, that's possible, Zane. Because since they're two different species, you can catch multiple uniques when they're two different species. And although you rarely, like you don't always catch them back to back, you know, uh, one cast after another, it, it happens. I've done that before. Like, well, I just left Marin. At Marin, I've caught the red tail catfish uni, and then I caught a gilded uni like right after it. So yeah, it's very possible. It's very possible. Uh-oh, I think I might've bought two licenses. Did I do that? Uh, maybe I did, maybe I didn't. It don't matter. Yeah, I did. Three eight. I bought the license twice, but that's all right because I'm gonna probably hang out here at the Amazon anyway, and uh, get my grind on once we are done with this challenge with this mission. Uh, Sleep say you have had a ton of dreams come true, uh, too recently, and you keep asking the person around me if they've ever done this before. Yeah, yeah, no, that that happens, that happens, man. Sometimes, it, no matter what you believe in, sometimes um you'll get that they call like I said, like a premonition, um or or something like the universe just telling you, sending you a little message, man. Sometimes it's in dreams, sometimes it's just something that you see when you think, you know, you meditate, and so yeah, that can happen, man. So hey, don't take it lightly, man. Look into it, you know, but but no, uh, hopefully it's a positive thing that you saw there. Hopefully it's a positive thing. Uh, let's see, Jonathan say, how do I have so much money? A lot of grinding, a lot of grinding. Actually, if you get a DLC like the Congo, you can make a ton of money. But once you get to higher levels, there are bigger fish. You can grind out a lot more money, man. And I grind quite a lot. Hey, GTV, yo, thank you, thank you. Shout out to GTV. Hey, really, really appreciate that super chat, man. $5, man. Shout out to GTV. Thank you, man. Really, really appreciate that. G say, how you doing, Charles? Hope you and the family are doing well. You working on getting your streaming set up, uh, but computer problems have slow, uh, slowed things up. Hey, sorry to hear that. Sorry to hear that. Hopefully, you can get those cleared up soon, man, and you can get your stream on. Let me know when you work that out. Yo, Zang, yeah, the Congo grind is real. You can, if you get the Congo DLC, say you just really want to make some money, you can make, yo, like, 10 million well five million uh one of our guys he's not in here right now he made a ton of money there my guy pry he made about 10 million at the congo i only made about two or three but that's because i was you know busy between work and fam hey joe shout out to joe joe say yo 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 what up joe how goes it man shout out to joe shout out to global tv one two three Really appreciate the support, the love, man. Thank you, guys. This fam, man, always coming through and supporting the channel. Really appreciate that, man. How y'all doing? How y'all been? Um, can't see me say you caught the albino black fishes at Kanik Creek. So you caught the elder gar, the T-Rex trout, the perch bully. Nice, 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 nice. And sleep, say you had a dream. Um... Uh, you got hit in the back of the head, but now you're avoiding that place so the dream won't come true. Hey, again, it may be a little sign. Yes, watch out. Watch out for it. You know, take it easy, man. And just be on your P's and toes. Maybe maybe you won't get hit at that place, but maybe it's just telling you to just watch out on what's going on around you, man. Be aware of what's going on around you. But you got this sleep. Don't worry about it. You got this. Zang say he currently has 1.5 million. Nice, nice. Oh, no sleep. That's not going to happen. I'm telling you now, that's not going to happen. You going to be here and be with us for a minute, my man. All right? You my guy. So, nah. Nah, we ain't, we ain't having that. Yeah, that was a dream. That dream means that you finna make a lot of money and have everything you want. You hear me? You hear me? Ain't no you getting nothing in your head with nothing. You hear me? You going to be good. For real. Uh, let's see, let's see. Arda say you saw the Congo vid on YouTube, helped you a lot, made five million in a few days. Wow. Again, 
this another test testimonial. This another testament to the Congo and the grind. If you haven't watched my video, if you do get the Congo DLC, check it out. Uh, Arda made five million in a few days, so you can make crazy money if you can get your grind on at those spots. Hey, glad to hear that, Arda. That is dope. Uh, so you caught the zombie cat a week ago. Nice Zane. Yeah, that zombie cat was fun to catch as well. Uh, sleep say you you paranoid. Hey man, look, sleep. I'm I'm gonna say something to you on that. Give me one second. We gonna get going with this. Give me one second. Guys, here at the Amazon, you basically can catch this anywhere. I forgot where I caught these, actually. I caught the majority of mine. Where did I catch these at? Let me see if I got some markers uh, for the cybers here. I did it just at a spawn point. No, it ain't down there. I did it somewhere over here at one of these spawns. But yeah, when you're fishing, and I, I'm putting out a video showing you where I caught mine, you basically can catch these anywhere. Where did I spawn in at? Hold on, let me look at the map, see where I spawned in. We got two more cyber piranhas to catch, guys, and we will be done. Done, done. I think I was here, but I think I went on this side. Yeah, here by the little totem. That's what it was. If I'm not mistaken, bam, we came through here. I think this is where I caught mine at. But again, you can catch these pretty much anywhere. Just go to nighttime. One to three is the best time, but we're going to start at 12. We're going to knock out these last two cybers that we need. We just caught the other two. If you're just jumping in, I did all the grinding already, and I only had two fish at each lake, two fish at Maku Maku, two cybers at Marin. Two cybers at uh, the Amazonian. All right. So I'm going to just cast here. I mean, you literally can cast any spawn point anywhere and you'll catch these cybers. It's just more of an endurance race than anything. GTV say hit that thumbs up. Yo, appreciate that, G. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, can't see me say you have over 700K in game money. Uh, you thought you had a lot. Uh, are you saying <laughs> there's no, <laughs> but look, you'll be here too, man. For real, for real. It's guys that got way more money than me over here. But, uh, I did do some grinding though. I did do some grinding to stack this bread up. Um, again, I have a video coming out showing the spot. It's so many spots here. I honestly can't remember which one I did it, but that's because you can catch these piranhas anywhere. Let's see, Zang, this might be a short stream. I know, right? I know, right? I'll probably go catch a shark or something before we, before we get up out of here, man, just to catch one or two more thing things. And if the ride doesn't bend very uh, hard, very, you know, with a lot of tension, it's usually not the cyber. Sometimes I just let them just go and don't even catch it, just let it miss the hook. I sleep. Now, don't be going around being paranoid, man, because look, if 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 the if the big man wants you, or again, no matter what you believe, the universe wants you, they're gonna come get you. You can't hide, man. So don't even worry about it. If something's gonna happen to you, it's gonna happen in your house, it's gonna happen wherever, man. So you gotta live like everything gonna be all right. Cause everything gonna be all right, man. You're gonna be here at all these streams. So don't you be worried walking around paranoid, man. All that dream is telling you is that. You got a lot of life to live, so stay on your game, man, and, and live life. And you know what I mean? Come hang out with us, and everything going to be all right, man. Don't you even be worrying about that like that, all right? All right? Let's see. That place looks so cool. You just uh, turned level 43 today. Hey, that's what's up. It, it takes a little bit of time, man, but keep grinding. Look, I was there, too. So I know how that is, man, but keep grinding it out. You'll get here eventually. You'll get here eventually. All right. I'll probably change spawn points just because I'm trying to find where I caught most of these uh most of these fish. It was at another spot. But I'm trying to remember. And this was just a couple days ago. All right. We gonna wait this thing out, Joe. Not to go too far off, Ja Morant. Hey, Ja Morant is a beast. Ja Morant is a beast, Joe. He is killing it. 
All right, guys, we got our first cyber. I'm pretty sure this is a cyber. It might just be a trophy. Oh, okay, this is probably a trophy. I don't know. I don't know. There it is. We got our first cyber here at the Amazonian, guys. One more to go. One more to go. Yeah, Ja is, is something special. Well, he is something serious. I did not know he was going to be hooping like that. But he is something serious. Hey, can't seem to say nobody chooses when we go set the man up there. That's right. That's right. And you can't hide from him. If he wants you, he going to get you. He coming for you. He going to call you home. So don't even worry about it. Up, oh, we got our other cyber, guys. We got, This is it. We did 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 it. That's it, guys. We knocked this one out. Bam. Let me get some type of splash screen up there. Boom. Uh, South America. All right. Great work. You got the adamant leader. And now you're ready for the mega piranha. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. I thought that it was just the cybers and that was it because we already had caught the other one. So now we have the actual adamant leader. Ah. Ah. This makes it even better, guys. So it ain't over. It ain't over till it's over. And it ain't over. We got a little more work to do, guys. We got a little more work to do. Look, I thought that was it. Uh, let's see, one more level until you unlock Blue Crab. You heard it's really cool. Hey, Zane, Blue Crab is fun. You're going to enjoy Blue Crab. It's this one spot they call it the uh, the Cove or the Man Cove or something. Everybody packs up there. People be arguing and getting mad because so many people in there fishing. But, man, it's so fun. You're going to catch Tarpine. You're going to catch Schnook. You're going to catch drum, and they're going to be the biggest ones you done caught so far, and you're going to make a lot of money. You're going to make a lot of money, a lot of XP. Once you level up about five, five, ten levels, then it's going to slow down, but it's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. Uh, Sleep, you say you think you figured out what a dream means. You think it means to be more aware of your actions. Yeah, yeah. That's what it means. Most dreams are not uh exact in like whatever happened in a dream it's usually something a little more uh figurative figurative or symbolic and yes it is something you're supposed to learn from it oh somebody just caught the mega piranha you a surly just caught the mega piranha okay it's only 20 pounds all right i i don't know where we supposed to catch this mega piranha guys but we about to catch this jammy uh, had i known i would have made the thumbnail with the mega piranha on it i might switch it up all right, you now have the only tackle that can't be damaged by the jaws of the Mega Piranha. The fish is an enhanced modification of the Cyber Piranha with adamant teeth, adamantium like Wolverine or something, right? And unpredictable behavior. Equip the adamant leader, but be extremely careful because you never know at which period of muddy waters the Mega Piranha is waiting for. Careless angler. Ah, so I got to catch him at each lake. Mmm. Okay, okay, Maku Maku, catch it, Marin, Amazon. Ah, should I do this in another stream? Should I do this on the next one, guys? Let's see. I mean, we ain't been on this long, so we'll, we'll go for it. I'm I'm thinking, ah, I thought that was it. I ain't even know. I ain't even know. Let's see, let's see. Hey, what's up? Hey, Carson, what's going on? What's going on? Hey, Tanuj, what's good? What's good? How it goes? And welcome to the stream. All right, sleep. Say, have a great stream. You got to get going. Hopefully, you stay longer for the next one. Hey, see you later, uh, sleep. And again, man, take that just like you said from your dream, man. All is good, man. I will see you at the next stream. Going to get you some rest, peace, and blessings. Prayers up. You know, man, you here with us with the fam, man. So you make sure you come through, man, and don't even be worrying about that. Don't worry about a thing, man. We'll see you later, sleep. Have a good one. All right, all right, all right. We got this adamant leader. So if you know how to catch this, guys, you know how we do on our streams, man. If you've caught this, let me know what I need to do if it's a different spot. I'm going to go ahead and set these rigs up with, uh, set these setups with this new adamant leader. And we're going to see if we can knock this one out. I don't know if I need to change locations or not. I'm going to cash out here. And see if we catch it. We might get lucky and catch more than one monster on one hook. Sometimes that happens or one cash. So let me go on and set this rig up as well. Bam. 
Yeah, I'm going to keep it the way it is, man. I'm going to throw these three out, and we're going to sit here and see what we get. Yeah, uh, just like when we caught the fighter shark, if you throw the lure that they gave you in the water and then you throw uh, two more lines out, you could actually catch multiple monsters. Until you reel them in, you just got to get them on the hook, and then you keep going. Guys, if nothing happens with this soon, then again, I might wait to the next one just so we can dedicate a full strand to this mega. But we going to see. We going to see what we get, guys. We going to see what we get. I don't know if it's a different location or not. Uh, Zane said, you wonder how big the mega piranhas are? Yeah, I think. Uh, the, I don't know how big they get. Somebody just caught one, and it was, I think it was like 12. I might need to ask him. Let me see if he's still here. Let's see if he's still here. Who was it? Uh, okay, the guy who caught it already left. All right, guys, we're going to sit here and see if at Amazonia we can catch this mega piranha. We're going to see what it do. Yeah, man, so what lakes are you guys fishing at right now, man? Where are you located right at this moment? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're going to see how much the line go crazy. If the line really start bending, that might be the mega. Up, oh, up. Oh, this one right here is going. Is this the mega? Is this the mega? Ah, this is a catfish. This a flat whisker. Get out of here, flat whisker. We going for this mega. All right, this one bending too. Let's see. It's a croaker. Now, we haven't caught any of these fish at all since we've been going after these piranhas, and now they want to jump out. Hey, what up, Knight? So you at the Congo? Okay. All right, what you catching? You catching unis out of the Congo right now? I'm going to ask these guys uh, where to catch the mega. Is there a certain spot to catch the mega? Uh, the mega pu Rana. If I can spell Piranha, there it is. Oh. All right, guys, let's see. If this is another catfish, then we might need to move. They might be trying to tell us. Yeah, we starting to catch other ones. All right, I'm going to move. I'm going to change locations. Uh, let's see. Can't see me say so you just left Emerald, so currently not at a fishing area, but tomorrow you plan to hit St. Croix. Oh, yeah, St. Croix is, okay, the boat dock at 7 p.m. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, ah, ah, I'm trying to type. I'm trying to type. Okay, so we got to go to the boat. Uh, lost too early because of tension. Okay. Thanks. Walt, all three maps. Okay, okay. Much appreciated. And that's another great thing about the Fish and Planet community, man. You can jump in the chat, and people will help you out at these different lakes. So we about to hit the boat dock. Let's change locations. Ah, right, look at the boat. I'm on a boat. All right, guys. All right, guys. We going to get set up. Oh, I cannot fast forward, though. I think I am on my cool down. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I would go to Maku Maku, but since we're here at the Amazon, so I ain't got to pay another travel fee to come back, we'll go ahead and do this now. Hey, look at that water right there. Is that is that it right there? Is that it right there? All right, guys. So I'm going to throw... Basically, uh, west, north, and east. And we're going to see what we get, guys. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We got to go to 7 p.m. So let's go forward to 7 p.m. All right, bam. 
Hey, that's beautiful. That sky look beautiful. We all, we at the golden hour. What you guys know about the golden hour? Anybody in here know anything about the golden hour? Not to be confused with the S on the word. No, the golden hour. What y'all know about the golden hour and what that does for a, uh, for a certain creative uh, venture that people like to do? Uh, let's see. You're going to grind the Congo, Zang. Yeah, Congo, We as we know, that's some good money. Good money. All right, and let me throw my other ride out here. Uh, can't see me say you're not playing right now. Okay. Uh, I want to throw over here a little more. Uh oh, the ride, that ride bending, guys. That ride is bending. I mean, it could be a, a... okay. I say it could be a catfish or something, but we're going to see. Hey, what in the world? Ah, that's just a catfish. Just a catfish. All right, let's throw back out here and uh, see how our patience does, guys. Let's see, let's see. Not playing right now. Okay. Hey, what's up, Cage? What's going on? Say the Everglades. What you catching out there at the Glaze? What you catching out there at the Glaze? Can't see me say the Golden Hour. Okay. The Golden Hour is, if you don't know, if you're not familiar, when the sun is setting wherever you live, the golden hour is like that perfect moment where they, oh, look at that ride. Look at the ride bending. This is it, guys. This is it. This is it. Let me make sure my tension is good. Yeah, this is it. The golden hour is when you can't, I mean, when you take like the perfect picture. Uh, I do photography as well. Yo, that's a big piranha. That's a big piranha. Guys, we are catching the first mega. Oh, look at that thing. <laughs> look at that joint. Look at that joint. Wow. Wow. Okay. Okay. Let's get our snapshot. Yo, look at that. <laughs> look at that fish. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. That's crazy. Oh man. Let me let me move him around a bit. Look at your boy back there. Oh, that's funky though at the hotel. You know we big balling at the hotel catching piranhas with the hotel backdrop. With the hotel backdrop. <laughs> hey, yo, sometimes these fish about jump scare you when you pull them out. You be like, what is that? Oh, man. We got the first mega piranha out the way. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to change my thumbnail, man, after we get done. I, I was still using the cyber. I didn't, I didn't even realize we had to catch the mega. I thought you just caught a bunch of the cyber piranhas and that was it. Whew, that is a test of endurance, guys. That is a test of endurance. Uh, Jonathan say you grinding uh, money farm on Lone Star. Okay. Hey, that's what's up. That's what's up. Get your money. Lone Star is where it all starts. All right, guys. We're going to head to our next location, guys. Um. Oh, the golden hour, though. As I was saying, man, if you ever taking some pictures, even just with your phone or whatever, I take pictures professionally as well. That's that's a, a business I do as well. I do it at my job some, but that ain't like my main task at my job. I do like some video editing, streaming, social media stuff as well. But photography, golden hour. Take some pictures. Wait till the sun is about to set or is setting, and it looks just like it looked right there at that 7 p.m. If you're going to do it, go maybe like an hour before the sun about to set to give yourself time. And it's just like this beautiful golden hue that will be on your, your pictures. You know what I mean? So go out there, take somebody, a significant other, or whomever. And, and that's called, that's the golden hour. It's supposed to be like, but you only got like a maybe two-hour window. We'll say three, but really it's only a good hour window. And you'll get like the, the dopest shots. Um, and the color would just look beautiful. No matter what skin tone or anything, man, the shots be amazing. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, that fish is crazy. All right, guys, we're going to see if we can get the second one. The second one. Look, I bet these guys out here, somebody out here trying to catch this thing too. We're actually going to get into a friends-only room. Let's do that. My boat a little in the way, but we're we going to be fishing through the boat, guys, because you got to do this off the dock. 
Actually, let me go on and set my stand up first. We are gonna fish over the boat. And we'll go to 7 p.m. Let's go. Same thing, we're going to the left. To the west, we're gonna cast. That one was actually uh kind of close to the foliage. All right, we're gonna go to the middle. I'm gonna try to cast that a little closer to that to that foliage up there. And bam. And then we'll take our oh. We'll take our other ride and we'll throw them over to this side. Let's go. All right, all right, all right. And again, I'm going to put this in video form as well. We're catching the Mega Piranhas. They're about 20 pounds, so as long as you have a decent setup, doesn't have to be anything crazy. As long as they can handle a 20-pound fish, 30 pounds, 40 pounds would be optimal, but you can catch them with 20 pounds as well. You can catch them even with less. You're just going to have to watch your drag. Um, and manage, you know, how you actually fight the fish. It'll be a little fight, but if you got a heavy setup, you should knock this out no problem. I'll show you real quick again. These are my rods. They're pretty heavy, but again, you don't have to go overkill, and you should be able to catch these mega piranhas. So we're here at uh, Maku. We at Maku Maku, right? Let me make sure. Yeah, we at Maku Maku. And we're going to catch our second Mega Piranha momentarily. Uh, can't see me say you sent a friend request on Discord. Oh, okay, okay. i check it. Yeah, yeah. I I, uh, I didn't see it. I'll check it out. And I'll uh, accept that. Yeah, man. See if we can get us another Mega. All right, man. So how y'all week been, man? How, how's your weekend been, should I say? I don't know what parts of the world uh, you guys are in, but how has the weather been, man? We got some really good weather this weekend. Spring ain't quite here yet. It's coming, but we got some really good weather. So, yeah, I tried to get outside a bit. Tried to get outside a bit. Man, oh, and shout out to Joe. Uh, earlier, Joe hit us with a super chat, but he also uh, still kept supporting as a member, man. So I really, really appreciate that. Really appreciate that. Zang, Zang hit level 54. Nice. So you can go to Blue Crab, right? Are you going to head to Blue Crab? Do you know where the spot is, Zang? If we can catch these fish fast enough, man, I'll come show you. But do you know where the spot is at Blue Crab? Because, again, Blue Crab got some fun fishing. Make sure you have you a 50, 40 or 50-pound setup if you can, though. A couple 50-pound feeders would do you well or a 50-pound feeder, 50-pound match. If you can get there, you'll be good because those fish are going to fight. They're going to run you, too. Make sure you got you, like, 500. Uh, you know, you get you the ones, the, the line that's, like, 500. So, hopefully, it'll go out to, like, 1,000. Say it's braid. You should get about a thousand um, feet, cause they gonna run you. I'm here to tell you, they gonna run you. I'd say the weekend in Arkansas is good. Cold weather starting to go away. Hey, that's good. That's good. Glad to hear that. Like I said, we had some nice weather uh, here as well. Let's see how the ride is bending. I don't think this first one is the mega piranha yet. Yeah, it ain't bending enough. Unless he just playing. Nah, this not it. This probably gonna be a catfish. Or a regular piranha. Alright, bam. Uh Zane. You think you know? Okay, okay, cool. Uh you got the Congo. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll be good then. You'll be fine. Yeah, when I went there, I still was uh, I had just like about 50, uh, 40, 50 when I went there. I think I might have had like one 50-pound ride and then like some 40s or something like that. 
But I quickly was able to level up and get the money, man. So, yeah, hopefully you'll be able to do the same. Well, anyway, you're good. You only got to worry about it. You're good. Uh, it's a 50-pound setup, line, reel, and ride added. Oh, no, no, no. Um, A 50-pound setup is your line, reel, and ride are each about 50 pounds or somewhere around it. You'll want your, like your ride will say, in fact, I'll show you real quick because nothing's biting. When you look at your ride, we'll just look at this one, for example. It'll say 26 to 83. Your reel determines the real weight of the ride at that moment, like by your drag. This ride here has such a range and weight. I could put a reel on it that's 30 pounds and it would be a 30 pound setup. Or I can put a, a reel that's 83 pounds, and it'll make it an 83-pound setup. So it just depends on your reel. This reel is 81 pounds, so it's basically an 81-pounder. Then you want your line. My line is 83. Your line can weigh a little more than your reel. You typically don't want to do that. You typically want it to go like ride, reel, line. But your line can be overweighted, and it won't like break in the game unless it's like 20 pounds over. If you go like five, five or ten pounds over, I try not to go no more than ten, but I push it sometimes if that's all the line I got. But yeah, if you're doing a 50 pound setup, 40 pound setup, it's all three of them separately around the same weight, not a combined total. Uh bam. Uh say so you bam bam 18. Okay. Okay. Okay, you're talking to Jonathan. That's what's up. Bam. Uh, so you can't wait to get those monster tarp. Yeah, man. It's some good fishing out there. Some good fishing out there. I could throw my float out, but I'm going to just wait it out, man. We're going to see what we get here. Uh, this Mega Piranha playing, the first one was pretty quick. It didn't take long at all. Uh, let me see if I can spin what I got on here, my popper. I'm not sure if anything is in this area that'll take this popper, but I'm going to try it. We'll see if we catch anything while we patiently waiting. All right, we're getting some type of activity. Uh, this is not the monster. Just a little piranha. Get out of here, little piranha. I'll try throwing a little closer to this uh, foliage over here. Oh, man. It has been quite a weekend, guys. It's been a long weekend. I'll do some experimenting with some lures while we're waiting. Whatever fish this is, it's just nibbling right now. Up, oh, it's 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 getting some tension, guys. This one bending quite a bit. It could just be a heavy catfish, though. Nah, I don't think this is the monster. That's just a trophy. I'm gonna throw over here a little further. See what you get. This might be another trophy piranha. Mm. 
another trophy for Ronda. Not bad, not bad. Uh, Bam. Let me throw it right here. Bam say you like to start getting in a fishing for the Kyoga Sturgeon, Russia, Arctic, Northern Asia, up to 2,500 pounds. Good night. And whales catfish, 300 to 700. Start fishing for massive stuff and deep sea tackle. Yo, that is crazy. That is wild. I did not know no fish. Like, that sounded like a whale. 2,500? I was wondering how far in the weight fishing planet could go as they're progressing. But if 2,500, if fish get that heavy, they could potentially keep making new lakes and make heavier fish for psh, years, a decade. Because right now we're only at a 400 pound fish. They could go to 450, 500, 550, 600, and keep releasing new lakes. I mean, yeah, 2,500. We could literally see about 20, 30, 40 more lakes if they wanted to. And they could just keep increasing the size of the fish. They actually could do something where the size of the fish doesn't increase. It could be some smaller joints. All right, Piranha. I cast out a little further by these trees. Well, guys, we got one mega piranha out the way. It's like the other one's drying up a bit now. They drying up a bit. I'm going to try to be patient. Trying to be patient. It would be really dope if I caught a shark over here. Oh, we have Maku Maku. Eh, or Atapaima. All right, Mega Piranha, where you at? The, the Mega Piranha done got scared. The Mega Piranha done got scared. Yeah, they done sent out the word, man. They done sent out the word. They know I caught the other one. They called their cousin. Up, oh, up. Oh, wait a minute, though. This one's, eh, it still ain't bending enough. It was acting like it might be something. The Kaluga Sturgeon. Oh, okay, 18 feet. Goodness. That is insane. That is insane. All right, Zane, take it easy. Take it easy. Peace, blessings. Have a good one. Hey, have a good start to your week. Guys, y'all give me one second. We're going to wait on this fish. Y'all let me know if the monster bites, guys. I need, I need a quick second. I'm going to leave this ride in here. I hear a knock on the door. Kaluga. Okay. The Kaluga Sturgeon. That is what's up. All right, Zane, take it easy. All right, man. I know my people still here, so y'all don't go nowhere real quick. Hold on, I got a quick knock. Got a quick knock. I mean, I can put the splash screen up if y'all want me to put the splash screen up, or I can just leave it right here for a second. Yeah, just one quick second. Uh. Yeah. Look, that might be the monster. Ah, they thought it was going to get me. Nah, that ain't the monster. That ain't the monster.
Yeah, this ain't it either. I think this is a catfish. It's a catfish. Brandon, so you was like, hey, no worries, no worries. We um we actually finished catching all of the cyber piranhas, and you get a adamant like adamantium uh, leader, and so now we're trying to catch the mega piranha. The last one I had caught was at the Amazonian maze, and so while we were there, we went ahead and caught the mega piranha. That is the monster that we're going for right now. But Brandon, but. I might have to go ahead anyway. I have my son knocking. It's time to put him to bed. So what I may do, guys, what we'll do is um, looks like we'll come back and we'll finish these last two. I'm here at Maku Maku and then at Marin, and I'll wait, and we'll just knock these next two out in the next stream. And then after we do that, we'll just uh fish. i figure out another lake to fish, or we'll keep fishing. Uh, at the, I'll probably go to the Amazonia anyway and catch some sharks since that's the top lake. Or, you know, I might go to Kanika somewhere. I don't know. It's been some lakes that I haven't been to in a while. So, yeah, Brandon, you're going to have to come on the next one, man. I know you're just popping in. But I'm going to go put my son to bed. And, um, yeah, we'll we'll come back and we'll finish this up. I thought we were going to get one of these mega piranhas to bite, but they're not biting here at Maku Maku. But we did get one out the way, guys. So we got two more. To do, we'll finish it up. I'll make a nice funky thumbnail with the Mega Piranha on there. And we'll knock it out, guys. All right? All right, so, man, I appreciate everybody coming through, man. We did get the main goal done, which was to get all the Cyber Piranhas. And we did knock out a Mega, man. So that is what's up, guys. So, yes, y'all have a great week, man. Thank you to everybody. Thank you to everybody that came through, supported, dropped the Super Chats. Thank you to the members that renewed the subscription. Thank you to the Patreons. Thank you to all my Elite family that just supports here in the streams. Uh, watch the videos, like, subscribe, share, do all that good stuff, man. You know, I really, really appreciate everybody, man. So, again, prayers up. Hope your families are healthy uh, and safe. And I hope everybody has a great week, man. So, y'all come back through and uh, holler at me on the next stream. All right? Charles Macro Fishing Planet, man. Thank you to everybody once again. I'm going to holler at y'all. Peace.